I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is an answer to the question of how caffeinated the cold brew concentrate you make with your OXO Good Grips cold brew coffee maker actually is. So I love the uh, the Good Grips coffee maker. I've started to use this basically as my primary coffee maker, and it makes a uh, cold brew concentrate. It takes about 24 hours to do that. I was wondering, you know, how caffeinated is this stuff? How does it compare to normal drip coffee? And the answer, it turns out, is really complicated. Um, it depends on uh, how much grounds you mix with how much water, and then once you create the concentrate, how much you dilute it in your cup. Um, so the first thing is the ratio of grounds to water. And they recommend doing, I believe, 10 ounces uh, by weight of grounds, plus about 40 ounces, 40 fluid ounces of water. Um, and I started out doing that, and then I just started to kind of eyeball it. Um, so I would put in 10 ounces of, of coffee and measure that on a, on a scale, um, and then I would just basically fill the water until it got all the way up to the top, and the lid starts to come up or drift up a little bit, and I just leave it like that. So it's probably more concentrate, uh, a little bit more diluted than the official mix there. Um, but I just find it easier to just fill the thing up. Um, but I actually took the water out and weighed exactly how much that uh, is and what the ratio is um, if you uh, if you do just fill it to the top like I do and put in 10 ounces of coffee. And it turns out it's about a, about a, a one to five ratio of coffee to water. And that's apparently a pretty standard ratio actually uh, in, in cold brew, uh, you know, creating cold brew concentrate. So one to five ratio concentrate uh, there. And um, then uh, it depends also, so that's what I've got in this. It turns out that a one to five concentrate like that usually has about um, 500 milligrams of caffeine per um, eight ounce serving. So an eight ounce serving of this is gonna have uh, about 500 milligrams of caffeine. And that's a, that's a lot of caffeine. That's a uh, drip coffee might have, you know, 120, 150 um, milligrams of caffeine per eight fluid ounces. This is uh, substantially more. Um, so if you just drink the concentrate straight, you're going to be getting quite a lot of caffeine in there. Um, but most people obviously don't. They dilute the concentrate. It's very, very strong. If you were to just drink it straight, it wouldn't be pleasant to drink. Um, so they dilute it in different ratios. And I tend to dilute this about a one-to-one -one ratio. If you made the stronger concentrate following the official OXO Good Grips recipe, then they recommend diluting it even further. But uh, again, I like to just um, fill this up, you know, just make it super easy, fill it to the top and not worry about measuring my water. Um, and in that case, I get about a, a one-to-five concentrate and I dilute this about one-to-one -to, -one to make a very drinkable coffee. And I dilute it either with water or milk or a combination. Um, but in any event, I'm putting in um, basically uh, about a half a cup, so this is the measure measuring cup on here. Um, putting in uh, about um, uh, about half a cup of the co uh, concentrate on there. And what's that equivalent to? It's um, two of these uh, little lid. The lid of the uh, of the beaker here serves as a measuring cup. It's really convenient. Um, and it's basically two of these measured up to the line here. And I can show you, whoops, I'm gonna spill a little bit of it here, but I'm gonna pour it in. You can see if I put two of those into my Pyrex, it's approximately half a cup, and that's uh, about four ounces of the concentrate. So recall it's about 500 milligrams of caffeine to an eight ounce um, uh, serving of this. Here I'm doing four ounces, so we're talking about 250 milligrams of caffeine in the cup of coffee that results from this. So you can see how it's a pretty efficient way to get your coffee in the morning because I dilute this again one to one and I end up with an eight ounce uh, cup, kind of your standard cup, but it actually has 250 milligrams of caffeine in there um, versus the, uh, uh, you know, the 120, 150 you might get from a standard cup of drip coffee. So in one cup of coffee in the morning, I'm getting the equivalent of about, you know, a cup and a half, two cups of, uh, probably about two cups of standard drip coffee. More efficient, I love the taste of the cold brew anyway, but I didn't even realize, I guess, how, uh, how much more efficient a caffeine delivery system this turns out to be. And I get my about a, you know, equivalent of about two cups again of, uh, of about eight, 16 ounces rather of, uh, drip coffee um, condensed into an eight ounce serving. It's just super drinkable. Um, so there's a couple things to keep in mind here. Um, it's great if you wanna just have like one cup of coffee, but get 
uh, the equivalent caffeine to two. If you like to have you know, two cups in the morning, but you don't want to have all that coffee, this is nice because it's uh, you know just basically reducing the amount of coffee you're going to be drinking. Um, the other thing you got to keep in mind is uh, this is really concentrated stuff. So when you create this, even if you're doing that higher dilution ratio that I do, just filling it up with water, you still got you know 500 um, milligrams of caffeine to your eight ounces here. If you just drank this straight uh, and you had a couple of these, you could easily have you know, a gram of caffeine out of that. Um, and in, in the standard sort of recommended limit to hold to it tends to be about 400 milligrams per day. So you could easily exceed that. And people, you know, follow different recommendations, but people easily could exceed that just drinking like straight concentrate if you like it really strong or if you're having a lot of this in a day. So do keep in mind, um, it doesn't look like a lot, but it's definitely really concentrated stuff. I like to dilute it out again, one to one. You could do even a higher dilution ratio there and you end up with, uh, you know, your two cups of coffee in one basically. Um, so that's a, a look at the caffeine levels. And uh, again, I think this is a really great machine, really great tasting coffee and a great way to have your two cups of coffee quite quickly in the morning. If you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.